Hey, Plus Believers, it's me, Steph. It's Tuesday, which means it's time for our Tuesday Team Talk. Um, and I am not as prepared as I was hoping to be today, but I just wanted to jump on and talk to you guys anyway. Um, today, we're going to be talking about different ways to party. So um, I know that we are all working on filling our calendars for the new fall winter catalog that's coming out. Hey, Deanna. Um, I know we're working on filling up those calendars and then also trying to squeeze in any last minute parties we can um, for the last chance of our spring summer with everything 10% off. So I just wanted to go over just a couple ways that you can, different ways that you can party um, and collect PRV. So um, I've been watching some trainings myself um, and some of these I have done. I've tried them myself and others um, I've never tried, I've never had the opportunity, but we can figure it out together and try them out. Hey, Rose. Um, so different ways to party. Let's talk about it. And you guys, if you're here watching, chime in, comment different things that you do or different ways that, um, you do these different kinds of parties. So different ways to party. First of all, you need to ask, ask people to get on your books, right? Just everybody. We were talking about earlier, the rule of 10, right? For every 10 people that you ask, you're going to get one yes. So we definitely want to get um, the asking going and that's what's going to help you book your party. Then once you do that, now what, right? Now what kind of party do you want to do or does your host want to do? What do they feel comfortable with? So different ways to party could be obviously a home party. I have yet to do a home party, <laughs> um, but I really want to. Basket parties or bag parties is another way to do that. And I have a sample of a bag party that I'm going to show you guys in just a second. Um, you can have theme parties like different colors. Um, you could have a red party and or like somebody brings in stuff that's red or yellow. You know how they have those different food parties or whatever. You can do themes or um, if you want to do like a Disney themed party and you can showcase Disney um, products or whatever it is like have a theme party theme parties are always fun and a great way to get people in the door um, sip and sniff right so you can do that you're at, on your own or you can do it with your hostess keep it simple um, just say you know have a beverage of choice or whatnot for me I do my TikToks and I do scentsy and cocktails so that would be a great way to do a sip and sniff we can say whatever the cocktail is for the scent of the month um, we're going to be serving those and do a little sip and sniff session. Um, last chance, first glance, that's going on right now. So you can have our samples of the current spring summer and then samples of the new fall winter. If you got your transition kits, you have your new fall winter testers um, ready to go. So you can do a last chance, first glance, show some of the warmers that are leaving and being um, discontinued and then and some of the wax bars or whatever you have on hand um, and then some of the stuff that's coming if you again if you got your transition you can have those um, testers with you Facebook parties are very popular I feel like all of my parties have been Facebook parties and I've had success with them but I do feel like it's kind of dying down now now that COVID is over, people aren't super into the Facebook parties, are not quite as active as they used to be, um, but you can still do them. Certainly, they're definitely very convenient, so that's really good for your hostess. Um, Instagram, messenger parties, text parties. I do, um, I've done a thing called a scrolling party. Um, that kind of goes along with like a texting or a shopping link type thing. You can do that hand in hand. And I have a sample of that that I'm going to show you tonight. Um, so you can do that as well. And then I have what I call a party pocket. Um, and that is like super, super on the go. I have one to show you. It's basically just like a little party in an envelope. So this one is like super stick it in your school bag and easy to go. Kind of like a catalog party essentially. Um, but I call it a party pocket because it comes in a little pocket. So, um, so these are different ways that you can party, different way, different options that you can give your hostesses once you get that yes, or even to entice them. Like these are, cause a lot of people don't necessarily want or want to commit to hosting the party because they're like, 
I don't want to clean my house. I don't have time, right? All the excuses in the book. So if by giving them these different options, you might be able to entice them to say, okay, well, I can do it online. Or yeah, I can just take this little pocket with me, you know, and throw it in my bag. And then I can share the catalog with a few friends. Or yes, I can take the bag to work and set st some stuff up in my room and then invite my coworkers to come to my office or my classroom or whatever um, and check it all out, right? So parties on the go, those kinds of things are more convenient. If you can get the home party, that would be incredible. Um, so how do you do these parties? I've got a couple of different options for you. So again, I'm gonna start with the party pocket. So this is a little envelope that I got at um, Office Depot, they have them at Staples or um, like different office stores. I had some really nice ones and I think I lent them all out and never got some of them back, but they have like, they're clear and they have like separate pockets and little pockets. You can put your business cards in there and pockets for the uh, order forms and a pen. Um, so there's all kinds of little things in here that you can put. So basically in my, um, party pocket in the main pocket what I did is I got a little envelope and I put a few testers in there this is obviously not all of the testers that we have but it's a sample a few fruity a few fresh spring bakery like all the floral all the different kinds just a little sample of them maybe put some especially if you have testers from previous catalogs and they're kind of stacking up on you this is a great way to do it and so you can share these little testers to go out um, and they can smell things. Again, just getting stuff under their nose is nine tenths of the battle, right? Um, I threw a few business cards in here. I have some of my business cards with my QR codes. So you can throw that in there. I have a few brochures of the join host and the scent of the month or warmer of the month is in there. And then in the back pocket, I have a couple catalogs, two or three catalogs and a little stack of order forms. So that's basically your pocket on the go, right? Party pocket on the go. You can give this to your hostess. Honestly, if I gave this out, I probably wouldn't care if I didn't get it back because these testers are extra testers anyway. <laughs> so it's nothing that I'm going to hunt them down for, right? Um, so this is great if you're doing hostesses from farther away, like maybe you're mailing um, a party pocket if you have hostesses in a different city or a different um, town or whatever that you're mailing it to them this is great because you can mail this fairly easy and then you don't even have to worry about getting it back you can just say you know what keep it use the testers keep the testers I don't care what to do with the testers <laughs> um, so yeah so that's a great one for on the go another one that I have is the bag right this is the bag or basket party, however you choose to do it. Some You can put as much or as little in this bag. These are the bags that they sell in the consultant store. This is one of the older ones and they have new ones now that they sell in the consultant store. Um, and I try and put just a little bit of everything, just a little bit of every single line that we've got. So in this bag, I've got a warmer like a full-size warmer it's actually the smallest of our full-size warmers this is the simply diamond warmer um and so i've got that one in there and this is an element warmer but they can set that up in their office or their classroom or whatever i threw in a couple you can do a three pack of scentsy bars if you want to let them use them right so invite them to go ahead and break them up and use them in the warmer um i also like to include a mini warmer so I have a mini warmer in there as well. And again, they can set that up or um, just have it on their desk or whatever. So between the mini warmer and the full size warmer with a couple wax bars, two or three wax bars, that's in there. Um, I have a couple of um, other items, like I put a counter clean in here. So I've got a Scentsy counter clean and you can let them use it, test it out. I've got body line you can put a hand lotion or a body lotion in there so that they can sample it um some unplugged items so i have a room spray in here you can put uh, a scent circle car bars whatever it is if you wanted to put a fragrance flower in there you could um fragrance flowers are a little bit hard to pack back up obviously unless you're planning on saying you get to keep the fragrance flower 
as your hostess gift, then by all means, you could do that. That would be a great idea. People love our fragrance flowers. So if you're willing to say, return everything else, but keep the fragrance flower for yourself, then they can set that up and then have it on their desk. So that's a great way to do that. Um, I put a small tub of washer whips and you can see this one's actually been used a little bit. So it doesn't even have to be brand new. It's just for them to see, smell, um, kind of see what it's for. It gives them an idea of each line. So laundry line, I've got the body line, I've got unplugged, um, I've got the wax bars and warmers. And then again, in your bag, you can choose to put your whole bag of testers of all of them in there. If you have multiple sets, you can do that. Or I tend to just put another sample pack of testers. So you can put a sample pack of testers. I also threw in a car kit because it's got a mini fan diffuser and pods. And then it's got the little twist or you can have a car bar in there. So they have an idea of that, um, how the fan diffusers work and they can see how that works. So you got a little bit of everything in here, a little bit of every single line. And they can just set that up in their classroom or, or their office or wherever space they're in. Um, and kind of share that. And then, of course, I have a little clipboard that's got some order forms on there. I put three or four catalogs and then some brochures of host and join and warmer of the month, right? So they have some of that as well. And the warmer of the month um, brochures also have the rub and sniff sticker on there um, so that they can smell that scent of the month as well. And that is my party in a bag, my bag party, right? And it's really easy for them to carry. It's not anything super big or super heavy. Um, so they can just kind of grab that and go as well. Um, and so that makes it really convenient as well. So you've got party pockets. You've got a bag party or basket party if you want to set it up in a basket, however you want to do it. I like the idea. In fact, I may start doing that <laughs> of... Um, putting a fragrance flower in there and say, thank you so much for hosting and for sharing this with your friends. Um, whether or not you are able to collect orders, my gift to you is this the fragrance flower. So set it up on your desk or in your space and share it with everybody and then you can keep it at the end. That's the one thing you don't have to return. All the other stuff, the room sprays, the Scentsy bars, even if they break off a few cubes and use them, you can slap on like a sample sticker or just put something on there that says for samples only or whatever. And you can reuse that in the next bag party. You don't even have, it doesn't have to be brand new every single time. Um, so you can reuse that. The hand cream, it could be one that's kind of used up. It's fine. Use it as a sample. Um, so just kind of have that in your bag. So that's one option as well. The other two options that I've done are Facebook parties and scrolling parties. And I'm actually going to turn my camera around so you can see my computer screen so that you can see how I've set those up, okay? So let me turn, sorry, my face is really big. Um, I'm gonna turn my computer around, or turn my screen over. So this is a scrolling party, and this is one that I set up on Canva. Um, I took the template from another consultant um, and then just kind of went through and made it my own. Um, they have, there's a lot of share groups that do a lot of these Canva share things. And even if you're not super familiar with Canva, um, it's not as hard as you think. It actually get the more you use it, the better it gets. Um, so here's the scroll. I have it set up. This one is like 20 pages long, um, but it doesn't look like that once you get it set up. So here um, is where we have the hosts and she just we just kind of share this screen. You can have different links for different hosts. So whatever it is, you're gonna add that. And the way you do it is once you add the graphic, if you click on the graphic, there's a little link button right here. You click on the link and you can literally paste in their party link. So for example, right now, if they don't have a host, I have my open party link right there that they can click on. Or if I didn't want it to be a specific party, I could literally just send it to my um, website as well. So I can do that and then it would just go to my website there. Um, the next page is check out the catalog and again, you're linking stuff. So from here on this catalog, if I click on the link, it actually takes them to the um, catalog link where they can see all of the stuff there 
Um, so then I have the click here, click here. Um, scroll down. This was from July. So this is the warmer of the month from July, the prismatic. Um, and of course, you would update that with the current warmer of the month. Um, and then fragrance flowers. And I love this. The lady um, that I took this template from, she actually embedded a video in here. So there's actually a little video that plays um, that tells you about the Scentsy flowers. I don't know if you can hear it that well, but. So it actually shows a little video, which I think is kind of cool. And then different little ways to color your flowers, which is awesome. Um, here's the orangutan. We have our new orangutan buddy. And so it tells you a little bit there available now. Um, just goes through different stuff. So here's the purifier, the air purifier, and all of these are live links. You can click on these and they all have live links. Disney collection, of course, I realize, I realize that these are pictures of the catalog. Um, remember that I am actually texting this personally to people. This is not something that I'm blasting on social media. So it's not entirely out of compliance because I'm texting it specifically to people, the shopping, the scrolling link. Um, talks a little bit about diffusers. You can click on any of those. This was, again, from July. So we had the Sunshine State of Mind collection was on here that I uploaded. Um, Buddy Bonanzas, if you wanted to talk about the Buddy Bonanza, again, from July. It's no longer, so I have to update this with the new stuff. Here's the different fragrances that you have. Um, the bundle and saves from the catalog. A link to the clearance section. Um, shipping costs kind of just describes shipping and what that looks like. Scentsy Club, and it's got the QR code to my um, Scentsy Club. And really, I have this whole thing. They can click anywhere on the screen. It'll take them to my Scentsy Club link. And then this is for them to sign up on my project broadcast. They can text to my project broadcast number or um, join my Facebook VIP group. And then different ways I can help you fundraise, join kits, 10 reasons to join, um, and then shopping links again here. And then it's got my story, why I joined Sensing a little bit about my family. So what it looks like is once you've got this all set up, you're gonna go to share at the top of the page. You're gonna click on more, go to, um, you're gonna click on website. And then you're going to change the style to a scrolling party, okay? Once you open that website on the scrolling party, it'll give you this link, okay? You literally just um, copy the link at the top of the page, and you can text that link. You can text it. You can send it on Facebook Messenger, um, whatever it is. And then once you get the link... I'm gonna flip my camera around again so you can see it on my iPad. So I am going to open this link from my iPad. I text it to myself on Messenger and I open this link and this is what it's gonna look like on your phone, okay? So you literally scroll through the whole party and it literally pops up on your thing. And it looks just like that on my phone too. I can't show you on my phone because I'm recording on my phone, but you can, like literally scroll through the party and that's basically what it is and anytime i click on any of these things if i click on it that one's got a little video love that i love these little videos that she embedded that one's got a little video of the color changing there um you can click on any of these things that say click here like if i come back if i click Of course, I'm clicking on stuff and it's not clicking. Here. So if I click on. There you go. <laughs> it took a second. It was thinking. If I click on the catalog, it's going to take me to the catalog page. It's loading. It's loading. Loading, loading, loading. Slowly but surely. There it is. So now I can scroll through the catalog link right? And I can actually see everything in the catalog. And then again, if I go to the top of the page where the parties were loaded, I can click on no host. And when I click on that, it will take me to my website. 
or the party page if you put your party link on there as well. So that's kind of fun. It's a fun kind of interactive way to share parties via text or messenger. Um, so you can create those or you can do a simple just kind of messaging, um, schedule some messages or whatever and include your link on there. But if you wanted to create something like that scrolling party, that's something that I've done before. Um, and I've had mild success with it sometimes um, people just don't ever really click on them, but sometimes they do, right? And it's interactive, and so that's kind of a fun way to do it. Um, I'm going to turn my screen around one more time, and now we're going to talk about Facebook parties. So Facebook parties are all the rage right now, and this is my timeline. Again, you can do it however you want. Some people only like their Facebook parties to be like three or four days. I run mine for about seven days, um, so about a week total. Um, and I just kind of have a running checklist of things that I schedule. I schedule all my posts on Facebook. Um, and there's different apps that you can use to schedule them as well. But I just do it old school style. I copy paste from a template Facebook group that I have. But basically, you just create a Facebook group invite your host in your host will invite all of their facebook friends in and on that first day once you start getting people invited in you put a welcome post mini introduction about yourself do a roll call notifications remind them to turn notifications on and the shopping link so that's kind of the first day welcome everybody's coming in um and then the first day of actual posts hey andrea the first day of actual posts i talk about what is scentsy how long does it last um, warmers, charity warmers, wax bars. I go through the different categories of wax bars and I talk about bundle and save. And then I'll play a game, this or that. And the way I do my games is everybody who participates gets points, basically. So I'll, I'll put like a little trophy icon or respond with a little trophy icon every time they play a game. And then at the end, I'll go through and over here, I'll write the name of the person and I'll start putting sticks. Um, for every point that they got and so it's a points game the more interaction I get from them the more chance the better chance they have to win the first order gets a prize so whoever places the first order is going to get a prize um, and then I have the points game here um, the second day I'll do the digital catalog I'll talk about warmer and scent of the month any LTOs that we have like harvest or nightmare before Christmas holiday bricks sense of the season kids Disney LTOs NFL. So all of these kind of licensed LTOs collections, I'll talk about those on Tuesday, play another game, this and that holiday collection. The third day, um, we talk about diffusers and oil, fan diffusers, pods, air purifier, the unplugged items, and I'll go through and post about those different unplugged items. We'll play another game on Wednesday. I always end every day with a game for interaction. Um, at, on Thursday, 12 means that I'm posting like a 12 o'clock post and it could be something just like a funny post or interactive post or a reminder or whatever it is. Um, so the fourth day, Thursday, I'll talk about the cleaning products, um, the harvest and holiday clean bundles. Again, we're getting a little specific there. Laundry, body, we don't have pets anymore. Um, bulbs, stands, tabletop bases, clearance, whiff box, the warranty. I'll put a reminder about um, my live the following day. Then Friday is the live. Hey, Stacey. Friday, I go live for about 30 to 40 minutes, and I actually show a, like these products in person, similar to what I'm doing with you right now. I'll literally just go live, and I'll have my setup, and I'll just show these products and how they work and talk about them. That's basically the last day. So Saturday is ordering day. And on ordering day at uh, six times out of the day, I'll do it like at nine o'clock and then like every two hours, nine o'clock, 11 o'clock, one o'clock, three o'clock, um, five o'clock, seven o'clock. I'll just post little funny memes of like somebody running for the checkout lane or someone coming out with a bunch of shopping bags or whatever the case. And just kind of, it's ordering day, here's the link. It's ordering day, here's the link. It's ordering day, here's the link. And just post it all day long. And then Sunday is the reminder that it's a last day to order or day seven, whatever it is, last day to order. 
my link to join my Facebook VIP page, and then talking about hosting and joining. Um, and then after I close, this is just my checklist to get back with the hostess. I announced the party winners. So I will, after we close the party, I will go back and count up all of the points um, so that I can announce the winners. The first order winner was, and the most points winners was, and then I will um, send them happy mail with like a car bar or a, if it's cold outside, I'll send a Sensi bar or whatever it is that I'm sending sending them. Um, you can keep that within your budget. A thank you to everybody who ordered. So I'll do a thank you post to everybody who participated and ordered. Um, I try and friend everybody in the party, try and friend everyone. And then I'll individually message um, people in the party, especially the ones who were active. I will individually message them um, to say, hey, one more time, here's the link to my VIP page. I would love for you to host. Sorry, my reminder came on <laughs> so that you can get um, rewards yourself. And then I individually message the hostess to talk to them about, you know, start putting together your wish list. This is where our party is sitting. This is how much you have in free credit, half price items. And if you really want to, you can flip some of that into a join kit and join me on this journey. Um, definitely add everyone to the VIP page that reached out that I messaged and then close the party with the host. Um, and then I'll keep little list of on just a little list of everybody who ordered it so that I can follow up with them after they've ordered to make sure that they received their orders or they're enjoying their orders or whatever. So this is my timeline. Um, I can certainly post this on our page. Um, and then of course you can tweak yours however you see fit. Like I said, some people like to have shorter parties like three or four days. Um, I like to try and include as much as I can and keep it as interactive as I can. Some of my parties have been really, really successful um, and then others not so successful. So that's the thing with Facebook parties. And I feel like nowadays it's a little bit kind of dying a little. Um, it's not quite as active as it used to be, um, but it's definitely a convenient option for your hostesses. So just to kind of reiterate again, we are talking about different ways to party. Um, and I put in my notes here, just different ways. You've got your home parties. Again, I've never done a home party. I wish I totally would. I don't think I would take my whole inventory of everything. I think I would run it a little bit kind of like the bag party because you also want them to see that you don't have to travel with 9,000 bags, right, to set up a party. That seems very involved. Um, so I think I would try and fit everything in like one of the large totes or whatever, maybe take a couple of warmers, um, maybe a standard warmer that uses a bulb, an element warmer that doesn't, and a mini warmer so that they can see what those are like. Um, take a fan diffuser. You can maybe have different, like the plug-in fan diffuser and the mini. Um, take a couple pods, a couple wax bars, maybe a six pack of bars just so that they can kind of see them and pass them around. Um, I would definitely take things like counter cleaner, maybe a couple of things from our, you know, cleaning line, like one of each thing or, or show like a little showcase of the laundry, take a buddy or a buddy clip. Um, you can throw some of those in there. Um, like maybe one, one of, you know, a little sample of everything. It doesn't have to be one of everything. A hard time finding someone else to party. Yeah, me too, Stacy. <laughs> me too. I did have a couple friends that agreed to um, a Facebook party and my mom said she would have a home party. So I guess we're gonna try that. I don't know, um, the last time my mom tried to have a home party, no one really came. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. Um, but we're gonna try it out and we're gonna see what happens and it's you know better to try than not at all, right? Um, but the key, Stacy, is asking. It's really just asking. Like you just gotta run through the list. Run through the list and ask everybody you know. And you're gonna get tons of no's. And that's okay. It's the challenge of no. Get all the no's you can because eventually you're gonna hit a yes, eventually. Um, so some of the people I've asked are like, well, I can't do it right now, but I definitely wanna do it when the new catalog comes out. Or I wanna do it in October because that's when my schedule um, kind of dies down a little bit. So great. That's awesome. I put them on my calendar and I will definitely reach back out to them because I don't necessarily want to book everybody's parties right now. Like I want to space it out over the month. So I'm getting equal PRV throughout the month. So definitely kind of 
you know, schedule yourself for two or three parties, challenge yourself for two or three parties a month, um, maybe four, and then try and fill those up. And once those are done, say, you know, what are you doing in November? <laughs> you know, so they don't feel the pressure of, oh, I have to do it right now, but you can also space it out and um, book your parties throughout your catalog season. Um, so again, home, home parties, basket or bag parties, um, bingo, that's something that I've been looking into that I really want to try to have here at the house. I've had um, like open house parties where people come, but I really want to do a bingo party. And when I say bingo, I don't mean pay to play because that is against compliance. <laughs> um, so the way bingo parties, I've heard different ways of doing it. Um, one of the ways you can do it is everybody does pay $25 or whatever, but with that $25, you are making specific orders for those people. So for Susie, she's going to order a $25 mini warmer. For Jackie, she's going to get a room spray and a car bar and a this, right? You're put together, basically you're putting together mystery bags, if you will, of $25 orders. And then when everybody comes, you put those orders out and then they are essentially donating their orders. And now as a party, you're just playing a game. Everybody has contributed to playing a bingo. And so it's not um, that anybody is not getting their items. They're getting their order that they ordered or that you ordered for them, that mystery box order. But then everybody on their own is choosing to contribute to the game right so that's one way to do it um and then the other way to do it is there's a lot of stuff online there's a lot of youtube videos about how to do bingos um like online bingos like facebook bingos and it's basically everybody who comes to the party um picks numbers and then um so everybody's playing it's not that they're paying to play everybody is playing um, but it's kind of the entertainment of the party. So you yourself choose like three items or whatever um, that you're going to give away as a bingo. And they don't have to be big items. It could be like a room spray. But you don't even tell them. You don't even tell them what they're winning because that's against compliance too. That's why the other one is in mystery bags because you can't tell them what they're winning. Um, the Saran Wrap game. Oh my gosh, Stacy! Yes, I bet that was so fun. That would be super fun to put like room sprays and, and car bars and that would be so fun. That would be a great theme to have. Um, but yeah, so the bingo thing, like they all come and then you would say, like give a little presentation on, okay, this is the warmers, blah, 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 blah. And then you hold up a card. Everybody chooses 10 numbers and then they have it written down somewhere. And then as you're presenting stuff, you say, B14 or whatever. And then this is our wax bars, blah, blah, blah. And I 27. And, you know, and then you just go through the numbers as you're giving your presentation. And then when someone hits five numbers, they say bingo. And you say, okay, yay, you won the first prize. You write their name down. And then you say, okay, everybody go into the chat and pick 10 more numbers. And then, um, while you're doing that, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about Sensi Club and blah, 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 Sensi Club, X, Y, Z. And then, okay, is everybody ready? Great. First number is 075, whatever. And then um, now I'm going to talk to you a little bit about fan diffusers and whatever. So you kind of do your presentation as you're saying numbers. And then as somebody wins, then you jot their name down and you have three winners for the night. Everybody who came to the party is participating in the bingo. So it's not necessarily that you have to order anything. Um, but then you can, if you prep it before, there were some people that were like, if you place an order, then you get to pick five extra numbers or stuff like that. So bingos is a fun way to party. Um, theme parties like your saran wrap. I love that saran wrap game. Um, again, Facebook, Instagram, Messenger, text, and the scrolling party. Um, just different ways to get PRV um, besides partying would be through club orders. So I'm um, working on your Cincy Club orders. You can create bundles or themes. I'm actually working right now on my boxes. I do scent crates. This should be another training um, that maybe I'll do next Tuesday. Um, but I do scent boxes and this box was the um, Think Pink. I couldn't say Barbie. So it's the Think Pink box, but it's kind of Barbie themed. And so I have, I got these little um, makeup headbands on there. I put some heart sunglasses in there. Um, I got a clip 
sorry. Got a hair clip in there. I put a little thing of earrings. I got all of these on Timu for like a dollar or two dollars. Then I put two Scentsy bars. I got the oil trio from the clearance section. It was like ten dollars. And here's what I'm kind of hoping. I know people don't all have diffusers. So I'm hoping they're going to get the oil and be like, oh my God, it smells so good. But I don't know what to use it in. I guess I have to order a diffuser. <laughs> so that's what I'm kind of banking with that. But that's another great way to get PRV as well. You can do um, little boxes. I put a lotion in there. And then again, I got um, the, the fragrance mist from the clearance section. So it was like $4. So that was awesome. So I'm putting together my little boxes, um, my little pink, pink box. And I can do another um, Tuesday Teen Talk about crates. Um, but that's a great way to get PRV, doing bundles, fundraisers. Um, anything through generosity, kind of helping your community, crates and boxes, like I said. And then, of course, if you're doing any kind of events is a great way to get PRV. Right now, y'all, it's about getting as much PRV as possible. So the best way to do that is going to be parties because you're going to be able to hit more people um, in one big bang. Right. So let those hostesses bring you new customers. Um, get those parties on the books. There's lots of ways to offer parties so that they don't have to feel like it's this huge commitment and cleaning my house and all the things. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. That's my team talk. I love that you guys are sharing on here. Um, keep sharing, keep commenting, hashtag replay. Um, and if you have anything that you want to contribute to this, throw it in the comments and we can have this, keep this conversation going. Um, but I just wanted to jump on and do a little team talk. Tuesday with you guys and share some of the ways that you can party and start offering different ways to party so that you can get some parties in your calendar. So yay, hope you guys are having a great month so far. Um, don't fret, even if your month is a little bit low, keep pushing that 10% um, last chance discount and then start getting those parties in the books for the new catalog. I'm telling you, when that new catalog comes out and the harvest collection and the holiday collection and all those things it's going to be amazing it's going to explode so i hope you guys have a great day and i will talk to y'all later bye everybody